Things that are coming together now to show this clearly was preventable by the fact this guy was on the radars. Tony Schaffer, former CIA operative, on the story with Martha McCallum, arguing that NYC terror suspect Saifalo Saipov was acting peculiar and telegraphed his attack. Watch LAS Vegas mystery when you're actually there, you can see that most of the exits were blocked, many of the exits were behind fences, and there were really only two places in which to escape, and that's very concerning, especially when people got hit and killed ten minutes after the the shooting started, Craig Island, an attorney representing several of the victims of the Las Vegas massacre, on Tucker Carlson tonight, discussing several unanswered questions in the mass shooting investigation, watch across the nation ex Trump advisor Carter Page contradict Sessions in testimony about Russia trip. Kate Steinel trial features demonstration of how suspects could a concealed murder weapon. Las Vegas shooter's brother threatened to kill nursing home employees, report says. Minding your business here's what the house got tax reform builders got pains to kill the estate tax what it means for you. Amazon to end fresh grocery dairy service in some areas. Apple store lines return as iPhone X debuts. New in Fox News opinion Mark Thiessen the Manifet, Gates indictments aren't proof of Trump-Russia collusion just bad judgment. Federal Reserve nominee Jerome Powell is philosophically closer to Schumer than Trump. And that's a problem. Newt Gingrich tax cuts are key to reaching 4% growth. Ignore the experts. Hollywood Squared House of Cards crew claim Kevin Spacey routinely sexually harassed people on set. Harvey Weinstein could face charges from NYPD after actress Paz de la Huerta accuses him of rape. CNN's Jeff Zucker's future unclear as ATT's Time Warner deal hangs in the balance. Did you hear about this Tyrannosaurus Rex's little arms may have been used for vicious slashing headless 400-pound tuna found in Massachusetts woods? Photo bride upstaged by smiling horse at her wedding. Stay tuned on Fox News Fox Friends, 6 a.m. E.T. Kurt the cyber guy tests out the new iPhone X the day it hits stores House Majority Leader Kevin McCarthy weighs in on the tax reform proposal rep. Devin Nunes talks investigating the obama era uranium deal. Trump's Asia trip the story with Martha McCallum, 7 p.m. E.T. Martha will be in Hawaii with a preview and breakdown of Trump's trip to Asia. The Ingraham Angle, 10 p.m. E.T. Exclusive U.S. Trade Representative Bob Lighthizer outlines Trump's agenda on his Asia trip. On Fox Business full coverage all day of the House Republicans tax reform bill with analysis from the guests below mornings with Maria, 6 a.m. ET guests include House Ways and Means Committee Chair Kevin Brady Bob Wright, former NBC CEO and President Rep. Lee Zeldin of the House Financial Services Committee. Varney Co., 9 a.m. ET Paul Conway, former Labor Department Chief of Staff and National Association of Home Builder CEO Jerry Howard. The Intelligence Report, 2 p.m. E.T. Grover Norquist, President of Americans for Tax Reform on Fox News Radio. Check IT out. Fox News Radio has launched the Fox News Rundown. This long-form podcast features insights from top newsmakers, along with reporters and contributors from across all Fox News channel platforms. All episodes of this podcast can be found at www.foxnewsrundown.com. Want it sent straight to your mobile device? Subscribe through Apple Podcasts, Google Play, and Stitcher. On this day in 1992 Bill Clinton is elected the 42nd President of the United States, defeating President George H. W. Bush. 1992 in Illinois, Democrat Carol Mosley Braun becomes the first black woman elected to the U.S. Senate. 1986 The Iran-Contra affair comes to light as Ash Shira, a pro-Syrian Lebanese magazine, breaks the story of U.S. arms sales to Iran. Thank you for joining us on Fox News First. Enjoy your day and weekend. Well, see you in your inbox first thing Monday morning.